Good morning, guys. Um, it is going to be a high of like 38 degrees today, but we are out here. We are carving, right? We are carving. Um, this is going to be a less talking, more carving video just because I am swamped with custom orders for Christmas. So um, we gotta get going, okay? So, but I figured I would bring you along because we have a fun carve today. We are going to be carving a dog bust for a beautiful little mutt named Frank. Frank is a girl and she is adorable. Uh, let me turn you guys around one sec. So she is an American bulldog, like pity mix. Um, so this is what I have draft up here. So she's very cute, kind of has like almost like a boxer looking face. She's white with the cutest little polka dot. So it'll be really fun to paint her up later. Um, but with that said, let's jump right on into it. So this is the log we are going to be using. This was the felled part of the log. That's why it has this. So I'm going to be cutting that fell part off here. And then we're gonna be using this for her bust. So I'm gonna grab the chainsaw, get some oil in it, and we're gonna get started. So we are pretty much done blocking this pup out. You can kind of see how she's coming together. Um, so I'm gonna break out the angle grinder now. I'm gonna soften her up and everything, round up her ears, add a little detailing around her mouth and really kind of thin her out. And then I don't know if we'll get the texturing today. I hope we will. The sun finally came out. I can still see my breath, but um, that's kind of game changing. I feel like I can actually move because I can feel my fingers now. So our doggo is officially blocked out. I'm gonna put this thin piece of wood here because I'm about to add texture. I don't wanna nick the base up. You can see I already textured her nose. All of this floof will kind of clear out um, when I torture, because I think I'm gonna torture, uh, even though we're gonna paint her just to kind of clean her up a bit. But I was between texturing her and not texturing her because I knew if I left her smooth like this, it would be easier to paint. But I don't know, texturing just like, it really brings things to life. Like I have this pepperoni over here. Um, this is a lab. See how I did some like light texturing here on the head and more of like a, a deeper texture here. We're gonna stick with the lighter texture on Frank here because um, 
she was like super super short haired so just nice light texture it helps hide some of the boo-boos too and like little overcuts and it's a dog and dogs have fur so let's add some fur just never enough sunlight huh honestly it is so much darker than my camera is even showing um i just really like texturing all in one go there's something about having that consistency doing it all in one go that kind of just I, I don't know sometimes when i start and then i come back to it it just never looks good but um yeah so i'll i always leave this blank that way i can add the eyes and then I'll probably let the snout smooth as well as the ears. But you can see here, I pulled this way and I pulled this way. And then the back. Um, I'll just add a little bit more here tomorrow. I literally can't see anything, guys. Um, but yeah, nicked the ear a little bit, so I'll have to smooth that out. But I'm actually really happy with how she's coming out. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. And good morning. Um, big difference in the weather today. It's about like 65 and absolutely beautiful out. I will take that over yesterday anytime I can feel my hands. But you can see I just stenciled in the eye placement. I just, you guys are my phone, so I just use that as a reference quick. Looking at actual pics of Miss Frank. Quick intermission. So this is editing Taylor at my little desk. Um, the entire time I'm calling this poor dog Frank and her name was Fred. Her name was Fred guys. Back to the video. Um, I don't know if you could actually see anything from the video last night because it was so dark out, but you can see we have our texture on here. You can see how I pulled away here and here. Um, so I'm gonna break out the angle grinder, just soften her ears up again, just cause I, I hit them in a couple places with the chainsaw. So just gonna re-smooth those out. And then um, grab the Dremel, we'll do the eyes. I think our sweet Frankie girl is all carved out. I know her eyes look a little creepy right now, but um, I dremeled those out. She'll really kind of come to life when she's painted. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna torch her since we're gonna be painting her. So I'm gonna go grab the torch. We're gonna torch her and that's gonna help clean her up. Um, like all these frillies, especially in her nose right in here, these usually burn off um, and then you get like a much cleaner carving. So we're gonna start with that. I also apologize if I'm rambling. I just have a million things on my mind. Oh, get this up. Um, just with all these carvings. So we have some fun stuff coming up. We have a Bigfoot. We have a four foot tall Bigfoot. We have a polar bear and a flamingo coming up. Just some crazy carvings. I'm gonna jump in the shed. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> time and I can actually see the flame. <laughs>
See how that cleaned up the nose? No more of those little frayy hairs. Now we're gonna stain her and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Like I said, we're gonna do spray paint and everything. Okay guys, so I have Frank right in front of me. This is gonna be a little tricky because you guys are my phone because I don't have a camera yet. So I need to use my phone for a reference, but I also really wanna show you guys um, me painting her because she has a really cool pattern like I showed you guys. But um, long story short, I'm just gonna take a lot of breaks to Kind of check back in with my phone so it's just going to be kind of a simple time lapse um but yeah so let's just jump right on in Don't get mad at me. Um, so I did a lot of painting last night off camera, just so I could use my phone as a reference. So Frank is now done and she's going to her new home today. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. And again, I'm sorry for what I didn't catch on camera, but I think you guys are gonna think she's pretty cute. Frank. That's Frank in a nutshell. So I'm gonna give her new owner a call and I'm hoping that he likes it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Till next time. Bye!